The Combi Bio study is a European funded project standing for combinatorial biomarkers of atherosclerosis. And what we've done is brought together some leading cohorts from Europe and the United States where they have measures of uh, atherosclerosis, that's hardening of the arteries. And what we're trying to do is using new technologies, uh, nuclear magnetic resonance, spectroscopy, and mass spectrometry to measure novel biomarkers or blood-based markers that are associated with these measures of atherosclerosis. And the idea is to get early markers predictive of disease, which can lead to uh, improved prognosis and treatments and prevention. A major aim of the CombiBio project is to develop novel biomarkers of atherosclerosis and later on use these biomarkers to better target our prevention therapies in those people that are at high risk of developing a future cardiovascular event and do that in, very, in a very early stage when they haven't developed yet any clinical signs of the disease. In this way, we believe that we will um, have better preventive strategies, target treatment in those people that um, are mostly needed and tailor our preventive and therapeutic strategies for cardiovascular risk. Within CombiBio, there are multiple cohorts. One of these is the Rotterdam study. The Rotterdam study started in 1990 with 15,000 people living in Rotterdam, and we have been studying them ever since. The reason why we started with this study was to understand better how conditions that affect mainly the elderly and the middle-aged people are actually occurring, how are they being generated. One of these conditions, which is the number one cause of mortality and morbidity in the world, is cardiovascular disease. Within CombiBio, we are using the latest technology and we are hoping to improve that understanding on how potential factors might lead to cardiovascular disease and how we could better treat and especially prevent people from developing cardiovascular disease. CombiBio is an EC-funded project under the FP7 funding scheme. Uh, we are looking at 8,000 serum samples collected from three different cohorts across the world, London, Rotterdam and America. And we are using advanced technology to profile the metabolic components in the serum. The idea being that these the various levels of these metabolic components will correlate with subclinical atherosclerosis. Most of the analytical work being done in this project is being conducted through a company called Metabometrics Limited, of which the people at Imperial College are directors. So, it's a com so there's a commercial component to this. What we're using are state-of-the-art NMR spectroscopy and state-of-the-art mass spectrometry techniques to profile these, these samples in an unprecedented level of detail, a level of detail that's not been achieved before. The CombiBio project aims to identify biomarkers for cardiovascular-related diseases. And as a member of the team, we've been working on the data analysis that has been generated from different type of assays and uh, in large uh, cohort. And it has been a great uh, opportunity and a big challenge to make the most of this uh, data. It's remarkable in two ways. One, because we have such a diverse array of scientific uh, technologies and expertise. And it's the synergy of those scientific disciplines that's one of the really important and novel features of this collaborative effort. The second thing that really is worthy of, of special uh, comment is what a rich platform for training this collaboration has produced. Uh, we have a number of early career scientists that are participating in this collaboration and are being exposed to scientists of different disciplines, data of different sorts, and the opportunity to work with these data, learn from these data, learn from these experiences is really an important feature of the project that hopefully will advance their own career development as they pursue their own careers in science.